Search Engine Journal, uh, Google's pr to provide instant medical information for symptom searches. Now, we actually uh, were tracking this originally from Bing, as you may recall in one of our previous shows. Uh, Bing was actually assisting in the prediction of um, potential maladies based on... <laughs> On loose stools or something mm -hmm. to that effect. All right. <laughs> it's, it's, it's never going to end. Um, so Google is to provide instant medical information for symptom searches. Now, again, are we are we uh, getting into some dangerous waters here? This is uh, from Matt Southern. Searching for symptoms on Google is going to yield more immediate answers in the coming days as the search engine giant rolls out an update, which will see information about medical symptoms and conditions added to the knowledge graph. Uh, you know, we got a guy right here in town, mm -hmm. Patrick Welsh, yeah, whose life was saved by Google. So he was looking up, he was outside and I think he was raking leaves uh -huh. and he felt some chest pain and shortness of breath and he literally Googled the symptoms and it said, you know, get your ass to, yeah. <laughs> to and a so, hospital. And he that? was, he was having a heart attack. What did it say though? What did I don't, I don't know what it said, but, but he, he literally <laughs> credits Google with mm -hmm. saving his life. Because yeah. he just thought he was tired from raking leaves all day. Okay. And the same thing could have... <laughs> Dog <Oops>. down. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> wow. Puppies do bounce. Look at that. <laughs> um, okay, well, that's on how, that note. That's how they learn. Uh, how, <laughs> so we can test it out right now. For, do they do dog injuries with this? <laughs> <laughs> My <are> But no, <laughs> in regards to the article, I think there's a huge opportunity for google there because i think a lot of the a lot of the search that is out there is a lot of competition but right. lot, it's not very good yeah right you know, like it automatically everything you search you got cancer right yeah um, so, so I, I think there's ample opportunity for google to kind of take what the heck of are that. you searching well you, you know but, you, people people yeah I know. but one of the things about this was not just like the generic hey chest pain what is this it was literally over time right like your search is over time that if you have mm -hmm. this symptom and then that symptom and you're searching for multiple symptoms mm -hmm. then google would basically say hey you might want to go see a mm -hmm. doctor because you've been you know yep so i found it interesting that they apparently worked with some uh doctors um you know on this because yeah. i feel like there's been some you know frustration from the medical community uh in the uh, because you know people are self-diagnosing mm. on web md and then yeah, going to the absolutely. doctor's office and saying i think i have you know cancer or right. what have you so or loose bowels mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well that one's easy to <laughs> that's understand <how> <laughs> yeah that's that's a and, and they did they actually worked with ex experts from harvard medical and and medical school and uh, the mayo clinic and they returned a list of symptoms and related conditions in the search, uh, search results whenever they compiled that data so my concern is that are we getting too reliant on the automation of these because Garbage in, garbage out, and I'm not making any uh, uh, inferences toward the medical community, but it's about the algorithm, and it's mm. about uh, how you're actually searching. Sure. You could, and it's about the, the you know, yeah. heuris. I, I think this could be start going towards the play towards their Google Home. Uh, so I mean, like, you pass out on, or you you're, you fall down on the floor, and you're like, hey, my chest is hurting. Google with your Google Voice mm. search or your Amazon Echo. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I think that's. Is part part of that getting the searcher's intent, trying to figure out what's, what they're actually what's actually happening. I think it all plays into that. So what you're saying is that if you're wearing a Google device, it's going to actually track the the ballistic uh, nature of you falling down, and then be sure. able to predict. Well, they already have those. Mm -hmm. They do. They already have fall bracelets and stuff. Right. That you can. But here's here's my thing. Do you trust Google, which has you know so many petabytes of information that's you know right. being modified and adjusted and he said petabytes or do you trust your doctor right i mean in my in my case i think most doctors look up symptoms and they're curious and they probably go google them right, <laughs> right? i i mean they probably go do research now they're intelligent enough to obviously yep. figure that out but yeah. I, tr I i think it's a good idea absolutely 